How to become a teacher. Miss Clarkson. I owe the world to Miss Clarkson. I think you have to be able to appreciate individual differences. If you can't, then you won't know your students and you won't get the best out of them. This is how to become dot TV. My name is Caitlin Clarkson and I'm a biology teacher at Nancy Campbell Collegiate Institute. And I really love teaching because I really like connecting with students that are interested in the subject. The biggest surprise for me about teaching was <laughs> that I liked it. <laughs> I, was, I was surprised. I think I would tell any teacher in their first year, know your subject. Do some background research and make your notes ahead of time. It is so helpful to have a binder of notes already prepared or a notebook already prepared on the subject because you're always going to be asked questions that might uh, be a little tricky to answer, that you, you may know the answer, it's on the tip of your tongue, but if you have a notebook already prepared, then it's much easier to refresh the night before. I owe the world to Ms. Clarkson. Can I tell you why? I have a job after school and before school. I wouldn't have that job. It's, it's an actual job. I wouldn't have that job if it wasn't for Ms. Clarkson. When I first started teaching, I think uh, the students thought I was so strict. And I didn't know, but everyone said that they were afraid of me, that I was going to be such a hard marker and I was expecting perfection. And I sat down with them and worked through their papers one by one and said, you know, by the end of the semester, you're going to be writing fantastic essays. And, and they are. So that's really the, one of the most rewarding things. I would like the teachers of my children to be kind and patient. I think they're so young that they still have minds that are, that are growing. They need um, someone that will be a guiding hand and let them learn at their own pace and let them learn the things that, that they need to learn. Everyone uh, has their own path. What do you want to be when you grow up?